The thyroid gland is an important gland that sits right here at the base of the neck and produces very important hormones that I want to talk to you about. It turns out that the thyroid gland receives signals from the pituitary gland and in response produces two very important hormones called T4 and T3, which affect the entire body, but in particular, the GI tract. Both T4 and T3 are very important in controlling the motility of the GI tract. What does motility mean? Simply, it means how well is the GI tract moving along and pushing things along the way. It turns out that the GI tract has multiple receptors for the hormones T4 and T3. If there is too much T4 and T3 around, the GI tract moves along way too fast, which leads to diarrhea. What happens if you have too few or too little T4 and T3, the GI tract doesn't move along very well or efficient enough. That could lead to diseases like constipation, where the colon is not moving along very well and the stool gets retained in the colon for long periods of time, which leads to constipation. In the case of small intestine, uh, when people have hypothyroidism, that could lead to slow, a slow-moving small intestine and a disease called small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. The bacteria is not moving along very well, so it leads to over-inoculation of bacteria or SIBO. In the case of the stomach, if the stomach is not moving very well because of hypothyroidism, people can have gastroparesis. When the stomach is not moving along very well, things can back up into the esophagus and people can have things like gastroesophageal reflux disease, burping, belching, and um, a lot of discomfort. So how is hypo or hyperthyroidism diagnosed? It's actually a simple blood test. You would ask your primary care physician or an endocrinologist to check TSH, T4, and T3. Treatment is also simple, in particular for hypothyroidism, which is what I encounter in clinic mostly. The treatment is as simple as replacing the missing thyroid hormones, including T4 and T3. So one would have to take those two hormones in the morning on an empty stomach, and that replaces the missing hormones in your body. And it's life-changing. So if you have those symptoms of gastroesophageal reflux disease, SIBO, um, and constipation, please ask your gastroenterologist, your PCP or primary care doctor, or an endocrinologist to check your TSH, T4, and T3 and treat accordingly.